Welcome, family. On behalf of Michael and Olga, I know they're very happy that you can be here with them on this very special day. Today, we're gathered together to witness and bless the joining together in marriage of Michael and Olga. Marriage is a beautiful relationship between two people. It's a union founded on love. If I could ask you to take the bride's bouquet, please. Carefully. <laughs> Thank you. And then I'll have the two of you face each other and join both of each other's hands. And I ask you to join hands as a symbol of the union that you're making here this afternoon. And I want you to think about the hands that you're holding because these are the hands of your very best friend holding your hands on your wedding day, promising to love you and work with you as you build your future together. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need strength, tenderness when you need tenderness, and love when you need love. These are the hands that will also hold all of whom you love. And these are the hands that through your lifetime together will wipe tears of sorrow from your eyes, but hopefully many, many more tears of joy. And these are the hands that years from now will still be searching for your hands, still seeking the love, encouragement, and support that each of you will give to one another. All of these things have brought you right here to Valley of Fire, to the very beautiful seven sisters, all ready to say your marriage vows to one another. And it's important to understand that these vows cannot be made lightly. And I know the two of you realize this. These vows need to be made with a great deal of consideration and respect. With that thought in mind, Michael, I have a question for you. Do you take Olga to be your wife, to live together in marriage, to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Excellent. Then go ahead with your marriage vows. <clears throat> Some time ago, when our relationship was just beginning, our paths seemed to have started moving in different directions. Fortunately for us, the universe had different plans. That one summer day at the beach where we were enjoying some fun in the sun, <laughs> and out of nowhere the winds blew strong and the rains poured down hard. The winds pushed you into my arms, and the cold rain made you shiver. I wrapped my arms around you and shielded you from the wind and the rains. At that moment, the spark, which is now an untamed fire, opened up the heavens and lit the path which brings us here today. Although I promise to always protect you, I promise to always love you, I promise to be the rock as you are mine, I promise all these things as your husband knows forever. Y'all love you, Olga, I have a question for you as well. Do you take Michael to be your husband, to live together in marriage, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to him as long as we both shall live? I do. Excellent. Then go ahead with your marriage vows. I feel really lucky best friend, my soulmate, and uh, my partner in crime. This is a very happy man. I enjoy every moment that we spend together, whether we're just watching Netflix or zip lining feet up <laughs> over Mexican forests. Uh, and I'm looking forward to many more adventures that uh, are coming our way. Um, I'm grateful for all your support, all your love, and uh, your sense of humor. <laughs> And uh, uh, you helped me my, to be my best uh, self. Um, I promise to cherish our love, to respect you, to always have your back, to appreciate you, and uh, forever and ever. And I'm super excited to start our own Partida family. <laughs> Perfect. And Michael, if you want to put those away for the bride, there you, you go. And now if we could have the rings, please. Mm. Uh, 
Start away. Thank you. Okay, so you guys should hopefully have each other's rings. Yeah. Perfect. All right, thank you. Throughout time, the wedding ring has been a symbol of unending love because, like time, your rings have no beginning and no end. They're a circle, they're the emblem of eternity. They're also made of metals that are least likely to tarnish. These things symbolize the pledges that you just finished making to one another. But above all else, your wedding rings will now be an outward and visible sign, signifying to all the uniting of this man and this woman in marriage. Michael, please place Olga's ring on her finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. Olga, I give you this ring. Olga, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder, and as a reminder that I have chosen you. Chosen you to be the one to be the one to share my life. To share my life. Perfect. Olga, please place Michael's ring on his finger. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hold it there and repeat after me. Michael, I give you this ring. Michael, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder. As a reminder. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. To be the one. To be the one. To share my life. To share my life. Perfect. I'll have the two of you face this way, just hand in hand. And one last time, if the bride could have her bouquet back, please. Aww. That's so funny. Thank you. Perfect. Michael and Olga, in just a moment I'm going to pronounce you husband and wife. Before I do that, I'd like to say a couple very brief things about marriage. They're brief, they're things the two of you know, but the important part is to keep them in mind. Marriage is being a love for the rest of your life. It's love walking hand in hand with your very best friend. It's thinking of new things to do together. It's laughing about the silly things in life with care and tenderness. It's trusting each other even though from time to time the two of you may be very far apart. It's getting over disappointments and small hurts, knowing that these are present from time to time in every relationship. It's the realization there's no one else in the world you'd rather be with, and certainly no one else you'd rather be married to. It's growing old together, but most of all, marriage is being in love for the rest of your life. Michael and Olga, you said your marriage vows to one another, witnessed by your family here today. You've sealed those vows with the giving and the receiving of the wedding rings. So now it's my very great honor to pronounce you husband and wife. And Michael, you may kiss your beautiful bride and your new wife. Big round of applause, everybody, for Mr. and Mrs. Michael Partita. Congratulations, you are married. Thank you. <laughs>